to the Crazy Nine Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Nine. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. I uh, I don't have a lot of information about this because you know we do truth, not facts. Uh oh. But there is a guy who is uh going to jail because <laughs> he stole uh almost two hundred thousand Cadbury cream eggs. Oh, wait, this is an older story. Isn't uh, it? it's from Valentine's Day, so I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's not that old. <laughs> okay, because okay, I feel like I've heard the story before. Yeah, I feel like we've talked about someone stealing large amounts of weird items before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, funny enough story, though, Jonas, I will have to say is that, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not a thief. Okay. But I have thiefed. And I remember I used to go to a certain grocery store and I used to take Cadbury cream egg, like just one. Oh, you would steal? You're, this rela you relate to the Wait, story. I, I said I didn't steal. <laughs> I you... just took without permission or paying. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember. yeah, that's totally different. You don't get in trouble for that. Yeah, I used to go in there, you know, like grazers. You know, you know like the people that walk around the grocery store and they're like, oh, look, a grape. I'll eat a couple grapes while I'm walking yeah, around. Yeah, and they're probably, they probably knew you as the guy who steals because, oh, like, he comes in here, he walks around for seven hours, and he leaves and doesn't buy anything. No, cranberry cream eggs are easy to conceal, so no, they didn't Leave know. Leave banana peels hidden behind chips. <laughs> like, you just eat a banana and throw it behind the chips, like... <laughs> like when you go and you see somebody like opens a coke and just puts it like on the shelf. <laughs> Listen, I cost the Cadbury company maybe like fifty dollars for a lifetime. <laughs> Did you leave the foil wrapper? No, the shelf? <laughs> you gotta delete. You gotta delete the evidence. You put that up your. You put that up your a hole, Jonas. Oh. <laughs> they'll never, oh they'll never know. That sounds frisk me. You'll, you won't frisk. find just one. Just put the stick. whole Cadbury egg up your you, up your butt. Dude. You won't find one stick. You're like of a chicken laid chocolate egg. <laughs> you won't find a stick of tin foil on me. They'll Unless find it in you, though. <laughs> you gotta do a deep cavity search <laughs> yeah. to get there. Uh, yeah, the guy who's like, he's like, oh, I've been waiting my whole security <laughs> life to do a deep cow search. <laughs> like, he's just ready. He's like, oh, I got my foil fingers ready. <laughs> Ew. I just imagine that guy's a big mustache. There's like a, some chicken grease in it, like on the corner. <laughs> he's just been eating chicken in the office all morning. <laughs> Why are the TVs and the electronics department getting better signal when you walk by them? <laughs> <laughs> got, got I, half a know, pound of I, got that, I got that electromagnetic field so so yeah so this dude i don't know what he did or how he did i thought it was a they call him the easter bunny yeah okay. he uh Fair he enough. stole he he broke in there with a grinder <laughs> and he stole. broke in there <laughs> okay he broke in there with a sure. metal grinder Okay. And then, and he stole a load that was on a trailer of Cadbury pro with a trailer of Cadbury products on it. So, how mu how how much in Cadbury products did he take? Do you have that? Two hundred thousand eggs. Oh, okay. So, I mean, that they're what are they a piece? Like fifty cents? Yeah. So hundred k yeah, yeah, yeah. worth of chocolate, probably. Yeah, that's not. Nice. I mean, with inflation, they're probably a buck and a half now. That's, that's way more than I used to take from the, that grocery store when I was younger. Yeah. More than like oh, you didn't take a hundred k worth. I of did eggs? not take a hundred k worth of eggs. I'd Oddly say like enough, fifty bucks. I, I hate Cadbury eggs. Really? Flipping just dis despise them. They what about the what about what about chocolate oranges? Oh, that's gross too. Which are like in the same group. Yeah, and what else is in that group? You know what else? Hot take. And I know you're gonna you're gonna have a big problem with this. So I like Reese cups. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the 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 holiday Reese's, like the trees and the eggs and the footballs yeah, yeah, and all that, yeah, yeah. of the hearts, I hate those. Because it's like an inch of ch of peanut butter and like the thinnest layer of chocolate. Yeah. It, it's like, but I figure you love it because you I love do. peanut butter. Yeah, I, I like the trees. I like the eggs. Though I will have to say is that it is a, l a lot different from like traditional. Just like the structure of a normal Reese cup. So yeah, but anything Reese's, man, you put some of that ultra sugar peanut butter in my face, and I'm gonna lick yeah, it off. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is yeah. peanut but, butter with a lot of sugar in it. Um. What well, I was going to say is, speaking of Cadbury eggs, is there was one of the talk show hosts, I don't remember who it was, that, um, you know, how, like, when, when inflation goes up, you know, they'll do the illusion where they keep the price the same, yeah. but make the product smaller. Ah, by putting a little divot in the bottom of yeah, the jar. Yeah, shrinkflation, you know, or whatever. Yeah, they call. You know, yeah. the box, it used to be a 12-ounce box, now it's 11 8 box yeah you know like it but it's same the, so it's the illusion of price with less product and that i mean that's been happening like crazy right now in like the world. i say man my most hated one is when they take like a jar of peanut butter and they put that little divot in the bottom of it 
That's not. Oh, a, they just make the divot higher. Yeah. Like, and they just, <laughs> all of a sudden, it's just like a spike in the bottom of it. You're you like, just have a giant plinth sitting you, in the in the middle of your freaking jar. You of open honey the jar mayo. and the point points you in the eye because it's pull, all the way it's poking it's out retracted. the top. Yeah. yeah. It's just like oops. Uh, it's yeah. It's like the bag of chips. It looks huge, and then you open it, and it's filled with like sixty percent air. And, You're like, absolutely. bitch. Oh yeah! Don't even get me started on that. You remember? You, you know those little tiny bags of chips that used to be twenty five cents when we. Oh show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back in my day. <laughs> it, it, oddly, those enough, bags are fifty cents now, and double the price. It, well, and you, you know what's really funny about those bags? Yeah. In, I agree with you. It's highway robbery, but that like if you open them up, there's about there's about eight chips in there. <laughs> And I'm not and I'm not joking. And I'm not joking. It's really about eight chips. Unless you get Cheetos. You get more bang for your buck with Cheetos. Right. But what the funny part about that is I think any person would open it, dump it out, and go, what the hell is this? Like this isn't enough chips. That is a serving. That is like on the back when That's they go, that, how many 160 calories for a serving? Okay. That is a real serving of Doritos. Is that the idea behind it? I is think it? it's just, I think what it is is for kids, so kids get a serving of them. Yeah, not like an entire bag. But it's um, okay. it's it's ridiculous that like eight chips is a serving because oh, how yeah, did, yeah, how yeah. is that satiating at all? Like you eat a sandwich and eat eight chips. What makes a, what makes something a serving is the question here? A what? way they can manipulate the calories to make it not look as bad as it is. <laughs> okay, there and that's we go. really all it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's like dude, like this, and this pisses me off. Don't even get, it's ooh, always like nineteen servings. You want to get me hot, bro? Like okay, I don't want to get you hot. Yeah, <laughs> in any sense so, of the word. Okay, so. Food things like I uh, like. I feel that like f the proper way to eat and do things is not really taught, right? In schools and things like that. Yeah, you have health class. They they give you the general job. Uh, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, but what I what really makes me mad, dude, is even like today when you go like last night I went to H E B. It's a it's a big chain grocery store in Texas. For those who don't know, um, and they have a lot of really awesome stuff. It's pre made salads, blah blah blah. They put they make these containers of stuff that looks healthy. Like it'll have like it'll be it like looks a looks healthy. It, no, no, it, what I mean by that is it'll be like it'll have like it'll be like a pasta salad, right? It'll have like penne no. noodles, <laughs> it'll have like some tomatoes in it, it'll have other veggies, right? And you're like, oh, it's just noodles and like Italian dressing and things. And then you'll look and it, and, it, and the calories will say 240 calories and you're like and it's a container maybe the size of like a pint you yeah. know like six, and you're like oh that's awesome and then you get home and look and it's like per serving and there's six servings in the flipping and you're like six servings what is that two pieces of pasta and one tomato yeah. and it's 240 calories yeah, get the that, f out of here there's your daily servings of calories and that uh, yeah well pasta is always one of those things where you yeah, just, yeah but, but right, anyway. salads even the salads from hb they'll be like yeah. 110 calories and then you look per serving so the salad without dressing is still 500 calories and you're like what the f without dressing the dressing's all the calories anyways so it's just i feel that they should just be like the package has 3000 calories in it and that's how they should put labels on yeah, it you're not even wrong you're not wrong and like then you decide how much of it you want to eat yeah how to divvy up that 3k yeah cuz well cuz i'll tell you goddamn what if i looked at the container and i'm like oh this bag of chips has 3000 calories i'm like bitch how do you even divide this up to make it worth your while i've always wondered like uh Besides, like, something that is, like, per weight, I guess. But I guess that's maybe how they do everything. How do you get exactly how many calories is in something? How do you, how do you, how do in they what? come to that determination? In the, uh, like, are you talking, like, big how, meta? Like, like, I'm, I'm food company A. How do I decide how many calories are in my thing? No, not that. I mean, like, how, what machine decides that this, every bag of chips is a 300 calories? What machine describes that every bag of shrimp that you buy is, you know, 1,200 calories? Well, what I think what they do is more of like, we want this bag to be a serving. A serving is 160 calories. A serving weighs X amount, and then they just weigh every bag as they put uh, chips in but it. But I'm just saying is like, what are the chances that all of those are exactly the Oh, right they're not. Thing? I mean, but it's – but but I think it just like with food stuff where they have a plus or minus tolerance of like – rat shit or poison or whatever <laughs> no, i'm not even joking i'm being yeah. facetious with what i'm saying no, no. taco but, bell definitely could have some rat right, shit bro. right or like you know oh there because there's going to be waste in anything right you're yeah. making it in a factory and there's always a small talk so there's always like a standard deviation so like yeah like when i buy a pizza 
a frozen pizza and the total calories is a thousand calories, right? Bullshit. You know, if I buy six frozen pizzas, some of them are going to have more pepperoni yeah. than others. Some of them are going to have more cheese than others. Some are going to yeah. have more sauce. So it's, I think it's like an average of the cumulative whole. And so I, I wonder if they're, would they, would they, would it be more beneficial for the company to undercut the amount of calories in something or to overcut? Probably undercut. Oh, probably well, tell you it's more calorie or well yeah and with in with today and how everyone's in there, flipping fat and overweight and have pro like with all the process i mean like yeah they should always err on the underside man yeah so less calories in there actually in every meal to make it more appealing to the consumer oh well, i don't know if that's if that's ethically right though it would, I mean, be, it would be better to tell them there's more in it and then give them less than tell them there because there's people counting calories and are expecting a thousand calories from a meal and they get fifteen hundred. That can throw off their whole thing. You just tell the FDA, you know, look, this is what's in the standard, and they're like, okay, and then you're oh, like, oh, I don't, I, I'm sure that happens. I mean, food companies are very unethical. They just want to make money. Look at what the products they put out. Right. Anyway, that's the business we need to get into. <laughs> Making unethical products. <laughs> <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com uh, and subscribe for Jonas. Yeah.